This video is going to quickly show you how straightforward it is to solder the header pins to your new Raspberry Pi Pico. The Pico is a great board to solder if you're a beginner as the joints are nice and easy to access. I would advise you to consult multiple sources, not just this video, and to practice before you start. So, to get started, you'll need your Raspberry Pi Pico, a soldering iron, some header pins cut to the correct length, this is two rows of 20 and one row of three. You will also need some solder, and if you're a beginner, it might be a bit easier to use leaded solder as it melts at a lower temperature, but make sure to wash your hands after using it. I will also be using a breadboard to hold the pins in place whilst I solder them. So, let's get started. Push the header pins into the breadboard and make sure that they are flat to the board across their length. Then place the Pico down on top of them. Ensure the board is level across the pins and the PCB is pressed down on top of the plastic pins. If you haven't already, turn on your soldering iron and allow it to heat up. If you are using lead free solder like I am, I set my iron to a temperature of about 350 degrees, but you should check the data sheet of your solder for reference. Unfortunately, when I was filming me soldering this Pico, I got my head in the way of the camera, so we are having to start halfway through the process after I worked that one out the hard way. Firstly, tin the tip of your soldering iron by adding a tiny bit of solder to the end of the tip. Now press the tip against the pin and the pad at the same time. Avoid using the very end of the tip and instead use a part a little bit further up the side. Once the pin and the pad has heated up for a second or two, apply solder to the joint and let it melt. Remove the solder and then the iron after a moment. You should see the solder form a nice dome around the pin. Repeat this process for all remaining pins and you will start to get into a rhythm and finish in no time. After every few pins, wipe down the tip and tin it again. Avoid applying the solder to the iron, then the pin, like I did here. I should have wiped clean the iron and started again. Once you have finished the pins in the bottom, remove the Pico from the breadboard and place the three pins down for the uh, serial wire debug connectors. Turn the Pico over and put it on the three pins. Thankfully for us, the USB connector helps to level out the board so the debug pins will be nice and perpendicular to the board. Repeat the previous process. It might be a little tricky to reach these areas, so I had to improvise my technique here. Now you have finished soldering the header pins to your Raspberry Pi Pico. If this video has helped you, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing. 